Today's mystery box comes from those maniacs over at Munchpack. And I'm gonna give one of these boxes away to a lucky viewer. And you wanna know how? Well, you gotta watch the video to find out. If you're a subscription company, big or small, and you watch your items on this program, there's, there's the email right there. Show me an email, we'll get it on, man. We'll review it. If it's edible, we'll eat it. We'll let you know if it's good or not, and all that jazz. So, today is gonna help me out with snacks. We got the Towers of Power. We got Jarek and Julius right here, man. <laughs> yeah, see? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm average. Height. <laughs> hey, nice. You can get your very own Munch Pack by heading on over to munchpack.com and don't forget to tell them the R&R &R nerd sent you. Inside every Munch Pack are the coolest and newest snacks from all around the world. Each delivery, man, they'll surprise you with some awesome new snacks. That's right. So you'll always find a new favorite or one that you don't like so much. Well, we found one or two, okay. but that doesn't happen often. No. Spicy, sweet, candy, chips, sour, gummy, man, they've got it all. That's right. You can choose from five, ten, or twenty snack-filled boxes. Mm -hmm. You can even add a drink for a few dollars more. What? That's right. Boxes start at only nine ninety-nine plus shipping and handling, because you know shipping and handling. That's right, man. So, and obviously the price goes up depending on the more snacks. snacks you get. In that. That's kind of what it is. All right, man. So let's dig in. You guys let's, ready to eat? Let's do this. Sweet. Uh, we got Jason Voorhees. He's just... Nice. We're gonna throw that box out of the stairwell and let it last like three minutes. What happened? We're gonna throw that box in like a stairwell and like watch as it falls for like five minutes. <laughs> just tumbles down. It's, it goes on way too long. I'm sorry. I just. Ugh. All right, man. Cool. All right, so we got that. Now Julius is new to the nut munch pack experience. Yes, I am. What we like to do is uh, start with sweet or sour or uh, savory, but we got to stick to that and then we move on. We don't like doing this whole like, hey, cool, let's see something really spicy, like I don't know, jalapeno popper type stuff, and, and then, then go, go hey, chocolate. here's a really cool chocolate experience for you. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna let you pick the Your snacks charge. that you want to do, but let's keep them in the wheelhouse of uh, let's do all like the the chips first. And then the candies, and then the sours, or whatever. Just make sure they all group together. You okay. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. We got some right. Cheetos. Cheetos. Nice. Sweet. Cheetos. So we'll the, uh... Palatos. Palatos. <laughs> a great Spanish twist on Cheetos. Uh, they have the classic cheesy taste, but are baked and shaped like football, or as we call them in America, soccer balls. Because right. we're, we're basic. All right, cool. So we'll uh, take this munch pack here. We've had something similar to this before. Yeah, I think we've had these before, but you know what? Julius did not, so let's get out of here. So now we just try it out. Give your honest opinion. They're shaped like little balls, and they have little markings like soccer balls. I don't know if we can see that, but I mean, not bad. Tastes like a cheese puff. Yeah. No. It's got a hint of something in there, but... Uh, yeah, I'm trying to figure out what that is. Well, my wife has me on a keto diet, so everything tastes pretty good to me right now. <laughs> nice. And to uh, Julius' his wife, he's not really eating these things. We just have him pretending, so don't get mad at him. No, but overall, it tastes like a Cheeto. There's some cheese in there. A yeah. little bit of cheddar. Cheddar. Tastes like your average Cheeto, nothing too uh, crazy. Yeah, can't go wrong. Right on, cool. Well, no, well, it's it's got a good crunch to it. Well, he's, gonna, he's not eating those cheese balls. You're fine. No, not at all. You know how the cheese puffs are kind of discerning that they're very soft? This one, this one has a really good crisp to it. Yeah. No. I like oh. that. All right, man. What's next? All right. So we have the Delicitos. Delicitos? All right. Delicitos pepper flavor. These pillow shaped snacks bring the perfect pepper flavor. They are not too spicy and have just the right amount of seasoning to make you feel like you're enjoying a fresh pepper. This is from Brazil. 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 All right, man. So uh, we got some pepper chips. Pepper chips. Not too spicy, they say. No? Which could mean multiple things. Well, people in Brazil like spice, right? I believe so. So they're ghost peppers. They're like, that's not spicy. This is nothing. <laughs> All right. Let's get a little pillow shaped here. There's some stuff on the inside, it looks like. and. Go for it. Huh. That was where, um... So now you open, like, you bite into a pepper, because everyone does it every now and then. It's a really nice, like, you know, quick crunch. How but it's... 
<laughs> okay, not for nothing, but they st stale. Yeah, 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 they're just stale. Right? Yeah. Like, it does have that pepper flavor. That, yeah, it's there. And it's not spicy at all. I don't yeah. like spice. I almost get like a peanut type vibe from it. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, hmm. I get more of a... Right on? Yeah. Nice. Keto's really messing up. Keto's messing with those tastes, man. <laughs> yeah. Like, for the stuff you're not eating, obviously. Yeah. Hey, that. I hate the fact that they're still. Yeah, if they were like fresh? No. Fresh mm. delicious toes? From right here? No, pepper flavor is not too bad, actually. No. And it seems as though these would have like a nice crunch. Their the flavor is good. They're airy, they're easy to eat. Yeah. It doesn't seem like you could probably eat that whole bag and not feel like a not feel like you wait. slob. Yeah. Unless you're on a keto diet. <laughs> he's really gonna. He's it's really, the keto episode. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Zoinx, sponsored by keto. <laughs> All right, man. The entire way to do stuff. All right. Got a drink in there. This oh, time. we have a drink in there. Whoa. <laughs> Pause. We need to get drink. Oh, hey. All right. All right. Uh, yeah. Here we go. All you right, uh, you can't read no, that? No, not at all. <laughs> you can't read that, man? We got some Pokemon. Uh, Furuta, Furuta, Pokemon cookie. This is from Japan. Uh, snack like a true Pokemon master with these adorable Pokemon-themed double chocolate chip cookies. They're soft-baked, melt in your mouth, and super tasty, as it's written. You know what would been cool? If that drink was milk. But then again, maybe not so cool because it's not a refrigerated box. Yeah, it's not a it's a non refrigerated box. Let's say if it been. was cold, it was a cold box. We got some cookies and milk. Shout out to you, Insomnia Cookies. Where are you at? I'm gonna tell you what those Insomnia Cookies they were so awesome. Good. Oh man! Then I went somewhere right after we did that unboxing and Insomnia Cook. Oh, I was at the Prince City Film Festival oh, in Huntsville, they, yep. and they had one because they're there. in Huntsville, aren't they? Yeah. Nice. We're not talking about them. We're talking about Munchback. No, I know, but still. No, no, I brought it up, so I wanted to make sure we... Get so it looks like we've got the same Pokemon. Nope, oh, nope, mm. Well, we've got, got one of them here. Some are different. Anyway. We got Banana Face and uh, uh, Yawning Bird and Regular Bird. It's a monkey. <laughs> huh? It's a monkey. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a monkey-looking thing. Okay, well. I'm just playing thinking. it out. It's not a really bird. I don't care. Colton. <laughs> oh man, oh, I'm gonna go, I'm, see you nerds. <laughs> All right. You already read the description? I read the description, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Um, I want we'll the bunny. We'll go back 25 minutes and we'll listen to the description then. That's fine. I want the bunny. I'll have the bird thing. Cool. I want the happy one. Is it a happy one? Yeah, I want to the happy one. So it looks like an average cookie. Not too bad. I guess. Here, let's, let's do that. These are super back. crumbly. That's what the cookie looks like. Yeah, I'm glad we all waited to uh, know, right? try it at the same time. Don't You're welcome, bud. <laughs> Appreciate it. Like I say, it crumbled on me. I didn't want to like, have it spill everywhere. All right, you ready? Cheers. That's really good. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. It's like on the uh, the outside, it's got a little bit of a crunch for a cookie, but on the inside, it's super, super soft. And it's almost like the um, those soft chocolate chip cookies from Grandma's Cookies. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh, yeah. yeah. If it was just a little bit softer, I'd say yeah. Yeah. The one thing I don't like, and this is just me being like environmentally friendly, I don't hate, I love, I don't like that each one is individually wrapped. It's, but easy, if, it's easy to go if you're making, if you're breaking up for like, like individual lunches and stuff like that, sure. But I don't know. I just, I well, like, see, I, I would be with you uh, on that. Yeah. But the fact that you said that it was super crumbly in the package itself, I that's feel like true. if I they were, weren't individually wrapped, it would just would be, be a bag issue. full of crumbled up cookies. True. I'll give you that one. And you just open up the top, pour a little milk. Now you got, you got, you know, you got uh, cookie, cookie cereal, <laughs> like a crisp, cookie crisp, cookie crisp. All right, man. What's next, dude? All right. So I wish I would have known there was a drink in there. Yeah, I know, right? Pretz, pizza pretz, right pizza pretz, yeah, pizza pretz. Uh, the Gilco pretz pizza flavor. Uh, the dream of having pizza for every single meal gets closer to becoming reality with these pretz from Gilco. Glico, Glico. Uh, with every crunchy bite, look at the rush of full pizza flavor from Thailand. All right. Well, Obviously, in Thailand, they don't have breakfast pizzas or like anything like that because like you could have pizza for every meal. Hello, me time, Pretz. Hey. All right, cool. I have a feeling this is gonna taste like pepperoni pizza. Probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. Maybe. Or it's gonna be like really bad, like, you know, Pringles have like the pizza flavoring where it's just kind of like cheese spice, I guess. Right. Mm. 
Remember, Chaz wants us to wait for all to have some. Oh, well, yeah, you can do it at the same time. All right, three, two, one. Good crunch. There it is. It's not stale. No. That's good. That's a plus. So therefore, it's not the box. You know what I mean? It's the bag. Yeah. yeah. Come on, Joel. This is good. This is good. That piece of flavor. Yeah, this is good. Dude, I can sit and snack on these like all day. Yeah. That's yeah. him. <clears throat> it's oh. got a great pizza flavor. It tastes more marinara than anything. Yeah, dude. It's and cheesy at the end? Yeah. Dude, I can munch on those all day long. You know like some companies with the like the crust, they have that flavoring on the outside? Yeah. That's what it tastes like. Yeah. Right, um, these are great. Baked snack sticks. Dude, I want to order a lot of these from yeah. Glico. 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 Glico? Glico? Johnny Glico. All right, man, what's next? <laughs> Those are really good. Those are really good. good. Those I, are I kinda, good. I'm like, I'm craving those now. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's uh, it stays with you. <clears throat> Julius is throwing all convention to the wind, and I love it. All right, that's the uh, the Richester <laughs> Amori chocolate. Is that what that is? Yeah. yeah. Amori. Amori. Uh, delicious chocolate cookies for are stuffed with uh, tasty chocolate cream. These cookies, there it is, I got it right. Uh, these chocolate on chocolate cookies are super yummy and will cure any sweet tooth weight. Will cure any sweet teeth. What if you have multiple sweet teeth? What if you have multiple sweet teeth? Oh. Do you eat multiple cookies? Then it has to be any. I know, these are from Brazil. 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 Oh, right. So we're going to get a hint of either staleness or, or, or uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh my god, your cookies crumbling. That's an analogy for my So life. it looks like a. Um, looks like, a, like an Oreo. Yeah, for the, mo yeah. <laughs> for the most part. It says register in the back. I don't know. Go on the side. The front? The front? Yeah, the front. Yeah. Amore. Amore. Sister. Cool. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. Amore. Oh, yeah. Super dry cookie. Yeah. Mm. Cookie's way dry. The cream to cookie ratio is not pleasant. Very airy. Maybe it's just the cookie part of it, but it's like, oh. Man, you gotta have that cream ratio better. You I do. can't even taste the cream. It just tastes dry in it. It's like biting it. It's like you take a spoonful of that Hershey, like you know, powder you use for like baking, and like in a cool, it's, it's put yeah. into a cut, into like a you know, into a cookie shape. Mm -hmm. Bite into it. It's like, Pah. yeah, it's like the cinnamon challenge, but yeah. with this cookie. Yeah, a lot of chocolate though. But it's very. It, the taste is great. Yeah, but it just it doesn't. It's just very dry. And it's sticking to every part of my mouth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I hate that feeling. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. Uh, how many stars out of five? Out of five? Yeah. One. I wouldn't One. buy those. All right. Yeah. Two. I'll say two as well. They're not bad, but I wouldn't search, I wouldn't search yeah. them out. Half the cookie is like stuck in my teeth. Yeah, right. I'm sure I'll pick them out. <laughs> All right. Next. Mm. So how about we do, uh, let's intro the drink. And then we'll pour the drink. Oh, is that what we can? And then they'll be cold. Yeah, after that cookie, <laughs> uh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is a first for us. This is uh, the soda upgrade. The Gabunomi uh, Blue Soda Float. Stay chill with the Gabunomi Blue Cream Soda, carbonated at just the right amount of sweet. It's best enjoyed chilled or as the base for delicious ice cream float, which would actually go really, that, that sounds really good. It does. Oh, it's it. You're supposed to do it with ice cream. They say you can. It, it, you can use it as a base with ice cream for like a float. Mm -hmm. So we'll open it. So we're gonna we're gonna let this chill for a bit. So we're gonna open it, pop it in a glass of some ice, and we'll get back to this in a minute. Yeah. That is very fizzy. It sounds like. Heck yeah. Not bad. All, All right. right so we'll let that please. chill. A free sip of what? I said vodka. All right. What's next? That's a big box. That's a big box. Is it 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, These, seven. I guess, because the rest of these are kind of like... Yeah, no, you're good. You're good, man. You're following your lead. A soft crescent. All right, seven days. Soft crescent. Seven days. It's on to <laughs> the package. Uh, soft crescent peanut butter cream and chocolate flavor. Fluffy and sweet croissants from seven days filled with rich and creamy peanut butter cream and chocolate. Way better than eating a PB&J sandwich. Thank you, Bulgaria. Bulgaria? Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga? Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga. Hey, Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga. Hey, you gonna rip it? 
Rip it and grip it, dude. Oh, you got nothing in there. <laughs> I got all croissant milk. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah, no, you're you're good. Well, you, you gotta have a, you gotta have a little bit. Ah! Sweet, I'll take. That was. All right. It's it's light. It's soft. Yeah. Let's it's a see. croissant. It's a croissant. Eh? Got peanut butter. Chocolate? Yeah, this is that jelly. Yeah. Definitely chocolate. Yeah, chocolate yeah. filling, peanut butter. But I'm hey, man, it's not bad. You got this piece. Mine was more bread than anything. Now, the original piece I pulled was like more huh. more bread than So it butter. looks like it's yeah. all in the middle. Zang. But I can tell you guys this. You get peanut butter, you get chocolate. Well, I'll <laughs> take your word on it. <laughs> As you should. Yeah, it's definitely a... Uh, the filling should be way more in there. It's like when you go to like Chipotle and like, you know, like, hey, cool, I want this burrito. But rather than like roll it so that way you get a bite of everything each yeah. time you bite, they roll it so it's all like, you gently, as you eat through, it's all this, it's all that, it's all this. It's not a. Really? Not good. Yeah, this was just like, it was just in the middle. And yeah. that's pretty much it. But uh, so, it was good. Uh, I probably wouldn't have one again. No, I mean maybe if I'm like if I'm if I'm not sharing it, then obviously. If you're, if you're the sole person getting it, then probably. For sure. All right, stars out of five. <sighs> Dude, I, I mean, taste-wise, uh, I'll give it a two, maybe two and a half. Oh, yeah. right, taste-wise, it was great. It's not bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> but for you guys, it might be different. When I can actually taste the chocolate and stuff, I'll give it a three. No, same. Yeah, three. It's very yeah. bready. It is very bready. But then again, it's a croissant. Croissant. Soft, no one. Mm. Uh, All right. Cool. What's next? All right. We have millions. Millions. These are like the, if I remember right, these are kind of like um, uh, nerds. Nerds. Yeah. Uh, millions. This is the Vimto flavor. Uh, each bag is filled with tiny, tasty, chewy sweets made with a secret Vimto flavor. Indulge in the flavors of grape, black currant, and raspberry in every handful. This is from the UK. Rip, Prince Philip. Uh -huh. Uh, by the way, so there's a digital board, not the one off of 1488, but the one on 45, yeah. uh, going south to 1488. There's a digital board, <laughs> and I saw it twice. The first time I saw it, I was like, um, something's wrong. Saw it again. So they do the, uh, the rest in peace Prince Philip. Yeah. But the picture on there is the Prince Philip from the TV show, The Crown. <laughs> And not the actual <laughs> Prince Philip. Oh, so, I love it. Kudos, digital board people. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. How do you make that mistake? Oh, no. so, this is what they look like. And then... Well, you have somebody who has never seen the crown and who Googled the image. And that's was true. Like, it's like, oh, that's a great so, picture. So how, how do you do your nerves? Do you do a pinch or are we doing a dump? Or? Dude, you, you do a dump, dude. I'm doing a dump. You do, All right. You, you go. All right. Three, two, one, go! Um, a little weird. No, no. Oh, man. I've done glue my jaw. They're sticking to Where everything. All right. They're very sweet. They taste like purple. It does taste like purple. Purple you... is a taste? Mm hmm. Yeah, that's what that is. Oh, okay. Great. <laughs> oh, purple. You ever get like a Jolly Rancher and get like, a purple one? Mm hmm. Okay. It's great. No, no, it's purple. It's purple. purple. Now, this. When you bite into it, they all clump up and they get hard like a now and later. Ah. So it's the opposite effect of what I want. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, um, um, <laughs> those are not fun. Ooh. Mm -hmm. These are my shake. Oh, they're like every crevice. Oh, yeah. Huh? Right. It's like it hards up like, like cement. Like it comes in contact with water and it just starts to it hardens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and mm. he's still going for it, gang. <sighs> yeah. So yeah, it I mean, the taste is good. It's not overly sweet. It tastes like purple. But as soon as you mix it with water, it's cement. Oh yeah. man, I feel my jaw. <laughs> <laughs> it gives you a workout, huh? It does. <laughs> what about you? Oh, um, I'm still. So I'm it's still nothing working. like a nerd. They just look no. like a nerds. No. But, oh, what it is. It gets to like that Laffy Taffy consistency where it's like, oh, man, yeah. why am I still, how am I still going? Yeah. 
So they're like uh, the jocks of the candy high school game, where they pretend to be friendly, but then they're gonna give you a swirly in the bathroom after everybody leaves, after cheerleaders go to class. They play a trick on you. So they're not nerds. I don't know, that was a bad reference. It's after all my teeth I'm just now. trying to oh. fill the time here. <laughs> go to the next one. <laughs> you can spit it out, bro, if you want. No, it's to the point where it's like stuck to everything. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, stars? Ow. Oh, no. No, no, one. zero. One. One. <laughs> I, if I have to give a star, it's one. If I if I have to, it'd be a one because the taste isn't bad. I don't mind the taste whatsoever. What, the effect sweet. of this? Mm. Yeah. God, I feel like they actually baked into my gums now. Like, I can't get it. Yeah, yeah I think the jaw exercises would work off the calories uh. that you just, <laughs> that <you> just consumed. This <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, makes a pretty good point. Alright, man, what's next, dude? Kool-Aid! Kool-Aid! Alright, Pocky Pocky Panic, cola flavor. Uh, this exciting candy mix sweet and sour with a fizzy flavor. Oh, a fizzy feeling. It's gross. Oh, now, the like sour pops. Ramon flavor uh, pairs perfectly with the sweet cola candies and begins to pop as soon as they touch your tongue. Japan. So these are like pop rocks, right? Yeah, carbonated candies. What are the chances that these ones also just like, you know, cementing into one, <laughs> one lump? I'm scared now. Yeah. <laughs> Well, so far Japan hasn't done us too wrong. You know what? These millions things are from the UK. It makes sense that their teeth suck. <laughs> They're eating stuff like this. To all of our fans in the UK, we love especially you. the Isle of Wight, because <laughs> we do have people from there who watch us. All right. All, all right. right. I'm just gonna take whatever's left. You want to show them what it looks like in your hand? All right. So they got the it looks like some kind of a like a sweet tart candy, right? Yeah. Uh, along with the cola pop. Like you know. Crack cocaine on the inside. Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> Don't do drugs. All right. Yeah, let's um, do this. Ready? Cool. Let's go. There's a pop rock. Pop rock. Mm -hmm. Tastes like cola. Maybe these will loosen up all the millions that they have stuck in my mouth. Uh, I like that feeling. That's awesome. It sounds like bacon in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> get all the flavors, get all the effects of bacon without burning your feet with your uh, George Foreman grill. I didn't get so much sour. No. I really didn't. Maybe but it, it tastes like, like sweet tart things you need. Mm. No, I guess so. This might be one of those things you, you crack it and you just kind of go at once. Yeah. And then you get the full effect. Yep. Yeah. So it tastes like a uh, like a Sam's Choice Cola, <laughs> not Coca Cola. No. Yeah. They weren't bad, it's fun, they pop in your mouth. These are, You can't go wrong with Pop Rocks. I like, can't. Yeah. Yeah. So. Simple to the point. I feel like I'm gonna be bouncing around my, my, my teeth for like the next like hour. Yeah, that's good. They're cleaning out all that junk that you just put in there. God. <laughs> Speaking of jump, junk, junk. <laughs> are you ready for this? Y'all yeah. ready for this? All right, these are the extremes. Uh, okay, another UK candy so you can prepare yourself. Uh, chew its extremely sour apple sticks. A sour lover's dream, Chew It's Extreme, contains six extremely chewy, extremely sour green apple chews. Chew, 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 is what they're telling me. Uh, can you handle this much sour, Chaz? Yeah. I chew, chew, chews you. It's funny, it says, can you handle this much sour, Chaz? As if they wrote it specifically for you. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, weird. <laughs> oh, no. So, it looks like an hour later. Yep. For the most part. So, all right, cool. up. we're back to where we are. <laughs> And these are supposed to be chewy. These are supposed to be chewy. All right. And of course. All right, so uh, like, you were either going like to, you know, a, so either come into contact with water or saliva and become either extremely dense or break up immediately. Well, you know what happens, man? It's, it's, uh, chews to the extreme. <laughs> to the extreme, boys and girls. I'm guessing this is what, apple? Yeah, green apple. All right. Oh. Once again, mm -hmm. I understand there's these issues. Mm. Well, it's like a now and later, because it's... A now and later, you just put it in there and you suck on it. You just yeah. hang out, get to it every once in a while. You could have it now and later. So this makes sense. The other one, not so much. No. Not a fan. I got the green apple flavor, though. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it's it's too subtle, though. Like, I get it, but I think I'm getting more saliva than I am. You know, yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. That makes sense. Uh, it, it makes sense. I think it hit the goal of what it was trying to do. Well, yeah. Oh wait. Oh, that, I guess that I think they're fusing together. What? I think the millions and the green apple too are fusing. 
Oh, I'm not a big two guy. Mm -hmm. I'm not right now. No. Mm -hmm. Chew it a couple of times, like it, it gets more sour. But yeah, it's not. It's not as chewy as the. Uh... No, I think it's chewier. Yeah. Really? Well, the other one just hards up. Yeah, yeah. Make a this big one. Lot. Yeah, this <laughs> one just dis dissolves. Yeah. Right on. Good. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. We'll be back in ten minutes. <laughs> <We're done chewing. laughs> all right, all right, man. This is one of my favorites. Every time it's in a box, sometimes it's different flavors, but uh, it's the last one that's in the box. And I just would like to say, it's Abba Zabba. You're my only friend. It's a mystery flavor. Oh. There's no telling what we're gonna get here. All right, from the U.S. back home here, back at home, the Abba Zabba mystery flavor chew, uh, chewy, tangy, and totally mouthwatering. Abba Zabba is back at it again with a new mystery flavor. According to Abba Zabba, the flavor is always changing. All right, cool, man. So we might get this in every box, and it might be a different flavor each time. Right. Or it could just be the... So, unfortunately, I've never had Abba Zabba, so what am I expecting? It's chewy. chewy. But oh. it's not like that. This no. one actually... This one actually kind of, like, works well. Yeah. <laughs> if it's not... Stuck. You'll be saying, hey, Abba Zabba, when you... Yeah, yeah, Abba Zabba do. I, I, I would not be saying Please don't say that. that. Please no. don't say that. Well, you say, Please Abba Zabba, you my only friend. That's to you, Dave Chappelle, if you're watching. He was not really watching. Ready? Oh. Ah. Oh. All right. Tell us what Abba Zabba looks like. Yeah. Looks like a Gene Simmons tongue when he's super dehydrated. Ooh, rock and roll! See, I like this. It doesn't stick to your teeth. And it kind of just roll around your mouth. So I get airhead box, right? Oh, well, oh. airhead type thing. But what's the mystery flavor? I'm tasting chocolate for some reason. Are you chocolate? But it's not chocolate. There's gonna be some kind of fruity thing in there. Um. Is it banana? No, I, I, like, you know, um. Tootsie Rolls have a flavor like this. Tootsie Roll Pops. Um, I mean, it's, it's a consistency of a Tootsie Roll. I was about to do the Tootsie Roll dance, but I forgot how to do it. What's up, Flavor Flav? Can you reach out to us, please? We need you. <laughs> I don't know what this is. But what is this flavor? I'm gonna say there's a citrus in there somewhere, but it yeah. tastes like banana. And like orange? Maybe? Let's go with banana. But not like actual banana, more like, you know, it's like a hint of banana. Banana candy banana. Just looking at it, I thought it was gonna be like, maybe like pina colada or something like that. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you would but think so. You would think so, but no. No. I don't, I get, I don't get pina colada. Abba Zabba is still a no. mystery to us. Cool, man. Well, overall, this box was pretty good. Yeah. I do like Munch Pack. I appreciate Munch Pack. You guys rock. And, uh, uh, oh, yeah. I'm gonna thing. wash it all down. That's what we do. All right, so now it's sticking. There we go. One thing, this is a, uh, a blue cream soda. That's what we're drinking today. A blue cream soda from Japan? From Japan, yeah. Cool, man. Sweet. So it's, it's, so it's chilled and not, not, not watered. It smells like uh, it smells like a red cup. Yeah, it smells like a red cup. Cheers, fellas. Remember, remember folks, your adventure begins here. I don't know. Cream soda? Don't know. Okay, I know this is gonna sound weird, but it, it's it's got a thickness to it. <laughs> Isn't it thick? <laughs> it's thicker than most drinks, right? Yeah. Is it not? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I know what you mean, yeah. I do, okay, so now I'm getting cream soda. I'm getting a little bit of the cream soda vibe. I can totally- Isn't cream soda like a little bit thicker though too? Isn't it? It's not the same consistency so. as normal soda. I don't think so. This, I mean, even looking at it, it looks thick. <laughs> we're a family, we're a family-friendly store, everybody. Why would we? Why be? would it be? <laughs> All right. I am. Like I can see where you can put the, the put ice cream in there. Yeah. I'd be fine. I think it'd be really good. And yeah, dude, it's just uh, yeah, I get a, a, a cream soda. I can't tell if it's watered down to the ice. Yeah, that's true. I think that could be it. 
I don't know, but it's not overly sweet. It's not, it's not over sweet. It's not too sour or anything. It's, it's not bad. It's, it's not bad. It's that consistency that's kind of getting me a little bit. Yeah. Where I'm used to. It's a little too thick for jazz. <laughs> this is very true. Okay. All right, man. Well, that wasn't too bad. Not too bad at all. It's kind of a refreshing drink, especially after all that. And it wasn't like overly sweet. I think uh, a lot of the sweetness that I'm tasting is from the candy and stuff that yeah. we had before. It's a good way to wash down all that super sticky, taffy, oh. fun stuff. Right on, man. Cool. <laughs> it wasn't bad. It wasn't no, bad. It wasn't bad. No. All right. Overall box, how many stars? Uh, I, I don't, I hate doing stars because I don't know yeah. what to rate. Um, it's not my favorite box because there was a few things that had to that work, yeah. It's only not because I really dislike them, it's because like the, the chewiness and plus just trying to get along the segment. Totally. Yeah. So, uh, it's not my favorite, but it's not the worst box that we've had. That's true. We've had, yeah. we've had, a, we've had a pretty bad box in the past. So I guess out of boxes, I would give it like... Maybe a five. It's probably right there in the middle. All right. Okay. For me. Okay. All right. I bet this is his favorite box so far. <laughs> it's been my only box. Exactly. <laughs> nice. Yeah. But so, we're doing five stars. Five right? stars. Out Chaz, Chaz out of five stars, but five stars midway through. Oh. Which is, yeah. <laughs> okay. So I, I'd give it probably a three. Oh, nice. All right. And okay, I think the Pretz and the Pokemon cookies. Those are probably the, the yeah. Two, those the those pretzels. Yeah. And, yes. The okay. pretzels were awesome. Pokemon cookies were great, and you can't go wrong with some Cheetos, bro. Can't go wrong with that. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a five out of seven perfect score. Congratulations, <laughs> Munchbacks, packs, you win. Five out of seven. Five out of seven. Okay. Uh, actual score probably more like a three or a four, honestly. <laughs> We're just making crap up like, as we go. <laughs> right on, man. What a munch pack of your very own. Like for one entry and comment for an additional entry. That's right. right. You want an additional two entries? All you gotta do is just share this video. That's four easy chances to get whatever you want. Winners we announce the following week. Pretty simple. I remember, it's not whatever you want, but we're gonna give you a, a box. It's, it's, what, it's, it's, it's what you want. <laughs> it is what you want. <laughs> it's the item we're getting. It's whatever you want, it's the box. Be sure to check the comments for my um, referral code. It's gonna get you some cash money off your first box. That's not bad. That's right, man. New episodes of Zoinks drop every Thursday on certain social media platforms like uh, Facebook, and on Roku for me and for you. He'll learn it eventually I'm not through the woodlandsonline.com. <laughs> and don't forget to watch this week's episode of the Adventure Begins show. Uh, my name's Jarek Kreitz. You can find me as always on Facebook, social media, and other platforms like that. Andrew Jarek Kreitz. I'm probably one of the only ones to find. Or as Kreitz Almighty, I'm on a lot of stuff as that too, so find me there. That's right, man. Julius, where can they find you? The store. Right nice! Find <laughs> Julius at the store. Just be like, yo, man, where's Julius? He just pops out. He's like Spider Man. He just hangs out from the ceiling. He's like, what's up, man? That's right. Hey, man. Chaz Vaughn Graves on Facebook and on the other uh, social media things is the RNR Nerd Rag and Roll. If you, need, if you need help finding us on anything, just ask our good, good guy, Grayson. He'll help you out as best he can. That's right, man. Call the store. Ask for Grayson. Please do. Just be like, hey, man, I want to talk. I need to talk to Grayson. Yeah. Especially if Bill answers his phone, make sure you ask for Grayson. I need to talk to Grayson. <laughs> That's right. Until next week, kiddies. See you, nerds. Yeah.